for them. Sister, don't you? Sister, don't you? Sister, don't you kiss me once or twice? Say it's very nice and then you run. Sister, don't you do what your big sister does? Well, I dated your big sister. Sister, song by Elvis Presley, done way back in 1961. And I played that song straight off the chord charts of the Marstown Uke Jam. So check the video link, download the free ukulele song sheet, and you can play along with this song. And if you're going to be anywhere near Marstown, New Jersey, when we do our monthly Marstown Uke Jams, hey, come on out and join us. We'd love to see you. All right, so that was Little Sister, a song by Elvis Presley, done in, again, way back in the early 60s, 1961. Uh, now that I've played through the song, what I'm going to do now, we'll, we'll go through and check out all the chords that were involved in this song, how to play each of the chords. Uh, I'll talk about the strum pattern, rather straightforward rock and roll strum pattern on this one. I'll show you uh, how I did that. And there's also a couple little little riffs. There's an intro riff and then a, a, a repeating riff. I'll show you how to play those. And uh, uh, just, I'll say this now and I'll go say this again when we go through them. They're totally optional. Uh, both the intro riff and the, um, the, the recurring riff throughout the song happen over an E seventh chord. And if you're not into doing riffs, there's nothing wrong with just playing. Seventh chord, while where, where the riffs would be. As a matter of fact, um, the probably the ideal way to play this song would be to have uh, two you players or two or more, where where someone can hold down the rhythm while someone else does a does the little riffs. But we'll get into that in a second. Let's start with the chords. Um, <clears throat> the first chord that appears in this song is an E seventh. And here's how an E seventh is played. One, two, zero, two. One, two, zero, two. The second. 
second chord that appears in this song is an A seventh. Nice, simple, one finger chord. Zero, one, zero, zero. The third chord that appears in this song is a B seventh. Um, I'm gonna show you. I play, there's two, there's, there's two common ways to play the, a B seventh. This is the way I played it, and I'll explain why in a minute. Four, three, two, zero. Now I know some of you maybe know B seventh, maybe you play it this way. Two, three, two, two. That's also a B seventh. I think this first one, the four, three, two, zero, is more convenient, if you will, um, for this song because it's followed by a C chord. And then after the C chord, a B chord. Let me show you how I did it. I went from this B seventh, the C, instead of playing the, this is the C we all know, of course, but because of the sequence in this song, which goes from this B seventh to a C, which you can do by just sliding up everything one fret and then making sure this index finger now flattens out to get that that tops that note. And then after the C comes a B, which you do, once you have this fingering of the C, getting to the B is just a matter of sliding the whole thing down. Four, three, two, two. So five, four, three, three, four, three, two, two. It's just a slide. So here's that sequence. B seventh, C, B. So that's why I chose those fingers. Instead of doing that B seventh, going to the, our common C, and then having to do this to get to the B. This is just simpler. Now again, there's nothing, there's nothing that says you can't, if, if you just feel better with this B seventh chord and this C chord, hey, have at it. I just think this is more convenient, less moving around to the fingers. Um, so that's the chords, that's all the chords there are in this song, the E7th, the A7th, the B7th, the C and the B. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the strum pattern. What I'm hearing here is one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Let me do it more slowly now. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and three. Little sister, don't you move. I played it on the one, two, three, and four. I do downstroke. Watch as I'm doing. Down, down, and down, and down, and down, down, and down, and down, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's probably the easiest way to easiest way to play that pattern. Again, there's nothing mandatory about it. If you find a different combination of ups and downs, it's fine. But I think that's a pretty easy way to do that, just on the on the emphasized notes. Down, down, and up, and down, and down. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Let me do a full speed now. And 
that's the that's the strum pattern pretty much throughout the the song. The only exception is at the end of the verses when he goes, I dated your big sister. door then just eight quick downstrokes little sister so that's that little little change here just eight quick sharp strums to end the verse to bring you back to the chorus but otherwise the strum pattern is pretty much that one two and three and four and one two and three and four and throughout the song okay now let's talk about those riffs there's two riffs one that it just appears at the very beginning of the song the first two measures, the first two bars of this song are just the E7th chord. And then the next two bar, while, again, I, obviously I couldn't play both parts at once, but that part would continue. While the, the lead would go. Let me show you, very simple. It's all on the second string here, the E string. It's a. That's all there is to that. Two open notes. Two on the third fret. And if you notice, if you want to give it that little rock feel, you notice how I'm wiggling my finger a little bit. You get that little, instead of just going, I'm going. You hear that little, you get that little twangy sound and your little bending the note gives you that, you know, brings a little sharp. And again, while, again, if you have two ukuleles, the other guy is continuing to go. While the second one is going. So that's that, and that, that only appears at the very beginning of the song. The other riff, which again, which like this one also is played over an E seventh chord. So if you if you um, you're whenever you see the word riff in this sheet, if you don't feel like playing the riffs, hey, just keep on with your E seventh. But if you want to do that other riff that occurs throughout the song, it goes like this. And again, this is this is shown on the on the uh, the, the chord sheet. So it's, it's charted out for you. Here's watch that again. And again, I'm putting that little wiggle in there. Third fret, second string, open second string. This is the second fret of the third string. And then See that little slide? So you put your finger on the second fret of the fourth string, then hit that open. And that's it. Watch it again. And again, you may have noticed that I'm, because I like that bass note, I'm using a low G ukulele here. By the way, let me just show you, there's nothing wrong, since most of you are going to be playing high G ukuleles, there's nothing wrong with that. It'll sound like this. This is just an octave higher, of course. Okay, so that's how to play that riff if you want to. And again, if you don't care to... Do those riffs, just play the E seventh chord wherever you see the word riff in the sheet and you'll be just fine. So that's it for Little Sister. Uh, have fun playing it.